To disassemble the Clow small resilient wedge valve, begin by depressurizing the line. Once you're certain the valve is isolated from pressure, you can proceed to remove the operating nut cap screw and washer. With these off, lift the operating nut away from the stem and loosen and remove two hex nuts from the top of the follower plate. With the hex nuts gone, lift the follower plate up and away from the stem and cover, making sure that the O-ring on the underside of the follower plate is in place and in good condition. You are now ready to remove the stem itself. To do so, turn the stem in the direction of open until it threads up and out of the valve. With the stem removed, verify that the O-rings and thrust washer bearings are correctly in place. Check the stem for damage. Next, remove the two hex bolts and set them aside. Proceed to detach the cover, also known as the bonnet of the valve, by loosening and removing the hex bolts and nuts that bind the cover to the body. The number of bolts present and their size will be dependent upon the diameter of the valve. Once all the bolts are removed, the cover can be lifted away from the body. This will expose the inside of the valve and give you access to the wedge and stem nut. Next, remove the wedge, lifting it smoothly up and out of the valve. Inspect the wedge for any damage, including cuts, punctures, and indentations along areas that seal tight to the body of the valve. If you find any imperfections, a replacement wedge might be necessary. With all the valve components now removed, take this opportunity to clean and inspect the inside of the body, removing any debris from the seating surfaces and channels. With this accomplished, your disassembly of the Klaus small resilient wedge valve is complete. Before you begin the reassembly process, be sure to inspect and replace any damaged or missing parts you may have noticed during disassembly. With the body of the valve clean and free from obstruction, lubricate the channels with OEM recommended grease. If you're replacing the wedge, transfer the old stem nut or insert a new stem nut on top of the wedge. Then, once you're ready, lower the wedge into the body by aligning the wedge guides with the channels. The wedge should drop in freely until it is fully seated. Be sure to place the wedge so that the stem nut opening is as perpendicular to the flow as possible. This will aid you in stem replacement later on. Verify that the O-ring on top of the body is in place and undamaged as you grease and clean around the seating surface. Reinstall the cover by placing it on the body, aligning the bolt holes of the cover with those of the body. Insert the hex bolts and nuts, leaving them loose in case you need to shift the cover. Be aware that if the stem you removed was damaged or difficult to thread, it may need to be replaced. You should now verify the placement of O-rings and thrust bearings and, using manufacturer-approved grease, lubricate along their threads. With the stem ready, lower it through the opening of the cover until you feel the stem threads impact the previously aligned stem nut. Begin to turn the stem in the direction of close for this particular valve. It should thread with ease and lower until the stem begins to raise the wedge in the body. At this point, you can finish tightening the bolts and nuts previously left loose to their proper specifications. Next, move on to replacing the follower plate. Begin by reinserting the two bolts on top of the stem and bolt openings and lower the plate until it's seated against the cover. Install the two hex nuts and tighten them to their proper specification. Alternating in a cross pattern to ensure even tightness and to prevent binding of the stem. Replace the operating nut. Insert the hex bolt and washer and tighten. Operate the valve by turning the stem sufficiently to verify smooth rotation. If excess stem tightness is found, loosen the nuts on top of the follower plate and make sure they are torqued evenly. 
you can now reapply pressure to the line and check for leaks and proper valve function. This completes reassembly of the Clow Small Resilient Wedge Gate Valve.